Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. It's ironic that we got sunrise here because on the morning that I'm recording this, tomorrow is the Halloween update. So to celebrate, the last thing we do before Halloween, we're going to be going into Sunny Meadows Restricted again for that Halloween feel. But I also want to remember that the 29th is also the console update, and also it's the one year anniversary of this channel. And I think I'm going to be doing a live stream on the 29th, and I'm going to be doing a live stream for Halloween as well. So I was thinking like I should probably tell people that there's going to be a live stream. So if you're watching this and you're a fan, remember it's going to be later in the day in uh, Eastern time. So, oh, I just heard something. But anyway, I'm going to be I'm, on those two days. I'm going to be testing out streaming. So mark your calendars and I will schedule it so someone will see it or you'll see it in your feed. Now, I heard a locker. I think there's a I, I already know that the breaker or we get the courtyard area and yes this is what I heard when we came in this room last time we were here and hid okay but hopefully I got my point across <laughs> there ah. this guy wants to go right after me holy crap it is loud on this map so the breaker of course was not right there so I kind of already knew going in here that this was going to be the courtyard so I'm gonna go the other way and turn on the breaker real fast oh did I no way I just saw the bone in there how does this door open no I didn't okay let's try and learn doors <laughs> oh wow the courtyard in sunrise I've never have been in here it's actually it looks a lot more claustrophobic and the breakers not there so did I just walk in and not see the breaker I looked on the map and the breaker wasn't there, which I think the map is broken on Sunny Meadows. Okay, that door goes in. Let's see if I can run by the ghost without my sprint. I'll see if I can survive and get back. But, EMF 5 at least I can throw my stuff here, which I'm definitely going to do. Whoa, why are you sliding? Why is the EMF sliding? <laughs> why is the floor made of ice in here? That had to have been a bug. There's no way I can replicate that. Okay. I do have my headlamp, so maybe the breaker... I was, you know, I walked in here and I assumed the breaker wasn't going to be right there. But maybe it was. Okay. Oh, then the breaker's going to be all the way back in the... Wow. Here I am saying I want the courtyard, but this is ridiculous. So let me see then. Is the breaker up there and I just didn't notice it? I, I don't see the breaker on this map, by the way. Is that the breaker? Whatever that is? Maybe it's either in that room or it's somewhere back there. But see, this is the problem. I, even on the old asylum, I swear, they had problems putting the breaker on the map. But this is professional. Now we're, we're getting objectives without even trying. Actually, it was really easy objectives, so, and this is professional. Maybe I can do this without getting hunted, but who knows. I'm going to keep my sanity as it is. Let's... I need to go looking for the breaker, so I'm going to take the candle, but let's get a couple things like writing and maybe temperature just to see if we get no lucky evidence. Okay, so since it's the courtyard, I don't think I'll have to deal with the doors locking, so I will be able to run around and maybe even loop. So, <clears throat> it sounds like it's been EMF5, but I think this ghost, I mean, it could just be an Oni with how active it is. I'm going to put down this stuff. I want to take my big light. And then I'm going to... I didn't even know that would get knocked out. I'm going to take my candle, try and take what little sanity I have. This feels like an Oni, by the way. I'm just going to put it in because... But I'm going to try and walk with my candle, not drain my sanity, and go look for this breaker. Now, I, I'm actually going to cut across here. It looked like the breaker was in that room, but I don't think it would be. I don't know, I'm gonna look there, and then I really do think it's somewhere back in the kitchen area, which is another area I really have not been to a lot, so I'm excited to go explore it. It said it was this room. Oh my god, it was in here? Wow. I didn't even know this was a potential room. This, you know, speaking of the old asylum, this does remind me. The old asylum did have, like, rooms like this that did have the breaker in it. I remember one time I just, like, randomly found the breaker in a room. God, the old days of Phasmo. Alright, so there's no reason to go back in there. Maybe I'll just loop across. I do need to see what the first item is. And I should have an inventory slot. Yeah. So let's go see that. No, it was right here. 
and it's the music box, so not too helpful, but I will take it over here. I'll get a photo at least. Oh, <laughs> the breaker's on. Let me turn on some lights. I don't know if I really have a hiding spot. I walked in here. I don't think the, uh, oh no, this one was open. <laughs> See, I was barely being able to pay attention. Okay, then I could run all the way back here as a hiding spot. So then turn on these lights. Okay, well, this is an interesting spot for the ghost. I've never had a ghost in, like, oh god, please don't activate this thing. I've never had a ghost in, like, the, these middle rooms. I've always, it's always ends up being the wings, so it's really fun to have, like, the middle section be open. Alright, I guess I can light that. I don't think that was EMF-5. And I don't think it's going to be freezing. Oh, well, it's pretty low. But the breaker was off the whole time. Even before when I was in here looking. You have thrown just about everything in here. And of course this wasn't even open. You didn't write. So then maybe... Let's just go get like UV. And I don't know, maybe the motion sensor. How does it look in here? I'll see if that's... Okay, good, there is a light. It actually looks really good in here with the lighting. Okay, let's go get more equipment then. Okay, down to 70 now, so it's uh, draining my sanity a bit faster. Look at all that activity. It did touch a door. It's been touching doors a lot. I want to look for ghost orbs, and then I guess dots, so I'm going to leave everything else, and I don't know, maybe I should have a smudge on me. Let's leave the UV, and then I'll come back for that. <gasps> Whoa! I was just thinking I was hearing something. I guess I, I thought I was hearing my own footsteps. Uh, could, uh, do, I, do I even have an evidence? That looks like EMF 4. I, I guess that was the ghost event EMF. I don't have one piece of evidence for this ghost. I wish I'd brought that UV now. No ghost orbs. Can I set this up like right here? I doubt that even covers any of the room. I'm gonna have this going. I know I could be taking photos, but... Maybe I can take a photo of that. If I could... Did I put that on the light switch? Yes. Let me just take a photo of this and see if I get credit for it. Which I do. I haven't seen any of these other throws. Okay, what about a door? Do I get mm, credit? I really should go get the UV. Instead of putting this here, though, we'll put it in the corner. And then have it... Like I did last time and just shine into the whole room. It's all about timing this, though. And... Perfect. Now this thing, you, wow, you, oh god, you can't get around this, so that's something you really need to be careful about. Alright, ghost, I'm going to maybe leave my smudge out here. This is a professional, so I'll have a little bit more time before a hunt. Now let's go get the UV in the spirit box, because I have a weird feeling that's going to be those two. I'm going to look. Okay. It's not, it's, it's somehow not an Oni, by the way, with how active it's been. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was mentioning last time how ghosts can really just be whatever they want to be, regardless of what type they are. Like, Onis are supposed to be more active, but you can get a ghost that's as active as an Oni is supposed to be. Now this ghost sounds normal speed. I'm pretty sure this is normal speed. I really just need to listen to normal speed too to remember the speed of it. Mm -hmm. It got me, well, it was doing a whole lot, but I'm wondering how it got my sanity so low. How have I not gotten one evidence either? <gasps> oh god, I thought it, I heard it touch a door, so I thought it was done. I don't think I just drew him to my location with that. How is this not over yet? Well, it is a medium map, I guess. Alright. Now you're done, please. Let me get out of here. I need to get these other evidence, and then maybe I'll get a crucifix in there for some more photos. Okay, at this point, I'm not even trying to figure out what it could be based on, like, the hunt speed. I'm just gonna try and get these evidence and see what it ends up being. What about this light? Oh, I didn't even realize there was a light for right here. How did I not notice that? I, I knew that was there. I just forget these things. Now, this light's technically on. This light's back on. Now, I did take one sanity bottle. <laughs> See, I have a hard time hearing that EMF-5. For some reason, that's not as distinguishable to me. 
But okay, we have something. I don't know if I'm gonna... I want some photos, but I'm not going for a perfect game here. <laughs> okay, but we got the ghost airball, so it cannot be an Oni. Let me scan these. Yeah, gee, I, I knew we were gonna get this. Okay, no matter what, this ghost is super active for all these ghost types. Let me get some photos worth of something. Just to prove I can be a ghost hunter. Give us a sign. Justin. Justin Emmett. Are you here? Justin, where are you? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Can you even be Spirit Box? Probably can. Oh, and it cannot. It's not written. And with all of its with all that it's done, it should have written by now. Scan for ghost orbs, maybe? There's no way it's like out in the hallway. I mean, no, of course it could be. And take a photo of this. I just heard you do something else back there. Oh, did it just touch? Oh, there it is. Because it could be, right? Obake. Let's look for the fingerprints. Is this the six fingerprint one? I don't think so. Let's look, look for that Obake fingerprint. Because none of these are the six one. That was a monster throw. But I'm... Now I'm kind of afraid of taking a wrong photo. I don't know if these are new or not. No, I'm also in the dark here. Oh, it turned off the breaker. Great. So what are we looking for? Could be writing. Let's take a photo of that. <laughs> Forget I had my candle in here. So is it down to freezing or not? This is bizarre. Could it just be a Gorio? Maybe I need to go look for Gorio dots. So, oh, we have not seen the dots. I'm hoping these are all... <laughs> Come on! I hate how inconsistent this game is with photos sometimes. Well, if... The only thing I think is left is Gorio dots. Because we've not gotten freezing or writing. And there's no ghost orbs. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten the alternate fingerprints. I bet this is a weird Gorio. At least give me credit for that one. Alright, well, since this is going to seemingly be a Gorio. Man, I wish I had the... Tripod. I'll try and put this on the floor. I mean, you know what? Technically, I could just stand right here and look for it. Because if it, I'm in the, a different room, so if it's in there and does it. Let's just sit here for a minute. Oh, I don't have my smudge. It's right here. Well, I guess I could look for the Hobake. And with all these touches, we have not seen that extra one. And also, it has left a fingerprint every time. So I think this is a Gorio. A very active Gorio. These are all EMF5s. Let me turn on my light. Where's that smudge? There. I'm going to sit here and see if we get the dots. And if not... I'll either get hunted or the crucifix will be used or something. Oh my god, it is so quiet in this asylum. <laughs> Until you hear some noise like that. Let me check for freezing one last time. He seems to have calmed down for the time being. I don't think it's going to be out here. The first thing we heard was that locker, so we pretty much know this is its room. Not that really the first thing it touches really is the sign of the room. More so just the temperature, isn't it? I, I don't... I want to take a photo of this, but I'm sure it's not going to count. Okay, I really shouldn't be standing in here then. How many... The thing is, it, it hasn't thrown the book, but it threw so many other things in here. Maybe it somehow just didn't choose to write in the book. Most annoying writing ever. Still got fingerprints, so I'm really leaning towards this being a Gorio. But let's. I don't know. I'm gonna run back and try to see what I need to. I, don't, I need a tripod, but I don't know. Do I want more crucifixes or more sanity pills? Okay, so we're just above hunt range, and I guess we are dealing with a normal range ghost. It did turn off the breaker, so it's not a djinn. And really, I mean, Myling would have been ghost riding, which it has not done. And also, yeah, freezing. We're going to go ahead and rule that out. 
I mean, I haven't seen ghost orbs. Let me look at the terrible. <laughs> oh God, it's where I'm. What even is this looking at? Where did I put this? Oh, I, I have no idea. Okay. Okay, we are right at hunt range. I'm going in here with the tripod and a camera. So, I'll maybe just come back and sit in the truck for a bit. But also, I do have the motion sensor, which I kind of forgot about. I don't have a smudge on me. So, I might have to turn around and run here. Oh, but there is that. I forgot. How do I want to do this? I'm going to drop it here for now. Drop another one in here. Put that down. I heard you with this. So I'm looking for Obake and or also no fingerprints after a door touch. I'm saying it's not Obake with all these fingerprints being the normal ones. Okay then. Motion sensor? Did you go through that? No, you will though for sure. Maybe I'll just put it right here. Maybe I'll put it here. There. You have to go through that at some point. Alright, I'm going to leave that camera facing right into the door, and let's go back to the truck and look for ghosts, or the Goryeo dots. You know, I don't have the bone, so I'm not going for a perfect game here, but we will make some good money. I will try and get some photos of the crucifixes, so yeah, I mean, the main thing, if you're not going for a perfect game, I only need three more photos, so I could get two at least. And those of that motion sensor. Oh, please don't close that door. I need that door to be open. Now I gotta sit here and look for Goryeo Dots again. I mean, there's like a really rare chance that it was interacting with so many different things in there. I mean, it was pretty obvious. It would have written with how active it was. It would have written eventually. There we go again with the Goryeo. Goryeo is like one of the most interesting ghosts because of how you can't be in the room while it gives you dots. But okay. So I think we should just go ahead and get out of here and move on to the next game. I don't, it's not worth it to go in there and get a couple more photos. And I want to try and prove that getting the objectives and getting the ghost right, we're on a medium map, so we should make some good money here. Well, there's IDM at 5. Alright, Gorya is still 1400, no bone. And I don't think the dailies have reset yet. East Foul Linen. <laughs> Foul Linen, that's a location. 108 interactions for that ghost. Only three events, and no ability, so Goryeo does not have an ability, it's just its traits, I guess. Okay, we're heading in for game two, and to kind of mention again, you know, the 29th, it's all about to happen. This is the video, this is like the Halloween Eve, even though it's not Halloween. But, to mention it again, 29th, one year anniversary console stream. I'm going to be doing a stream for that, and then I'm going to be doing a Halloween stream where last year... Like, I, you know, I started this channel right before Halloween, so I didn't have a Halloween costume, but this year I do have a Halloween costume. Alright, well the good news is, is the breaker was right there, uh, and it looks like we're going downstairs. But what do we have over here for the cursed item? Oh, just the summoning circle. Okay, so do we need to get a photo? No. Witness, cleanse, and bear a mic, and it's Kenny Wilson. Okay, well, let's see if we get a, another interesting room here. That's one of my favorite things about this game is getting a ghost in a different room can make everything feel so different. I would like a ghost. Oh, looks like we're going that way, and that's not a light switch. Oh, here it is. Am I hearing something? My EMF will tell me. This is the room I wanted it in for some reason, but I guess not. I mean, this isn't too interesting of a room. I think I'm hearing things, but it's probably just this asylum screwing me. But I'm going to... Wow, there's no room. Is this room always blocked off? I guess it is. I hear all these awful noises. So there's a hiding spot there and there, I guess, but... Th these are the doors that lock. So if the ghost is gonna be... What is that? Oh, it's just my light reflecting. So this is the door that locks. So if the ghost is down here, I'm gonna be trapped with it. Now, when I think of Sunny Meadows, this is the hallway I always think of, because when I first uh, played this map, I got the ghost down here a lot. But also, one of these rooms is the meat room, which <laughs> we don't need to be going in there. Is that the bone? No, that's a syringe. Oh, I, I walked in here. I heard the door. Let's forget about this room and just be happy the ghost isn't in here. I heard the door. So you're touching this door? I'm gonna take a photo if you don't mind. 
God, now everything is so echoey. Well, oh my god, the blood. Let's check for a hiding spot down here. <laughs> yeah, I hate this hiding spot. I mean, this is technically, this is kind of good, but not really. I mean, this is different. Isn't this like normally right here? I remember this hiding spot being a lot like deeper to get to, but oh well. So I have a spot at the end of this hallway if it doesn't see me somehow. I'm probably, it's probably going to check there. I don't know if any of these rooms have a hiding spot. I really, I really don't feel like they do. Maybe I'll come in here and hide behind the desk. That's like my only option. And I guess there was like a coast event just now. Okay, we were determining this is your room. I like this little table. So I'm going to drop this stuff and try and get back and see if I can at least, at least escape and bring something back in with me until you hunt me. Oh my god, look at the fog. So I didn't even turn on the light in here. Oh my god, you can't even see anything out here. Oh god, once again, you can see where the fog begins and ends. Okay, sanity is still alright. I'm gonna leave it there. I guess the ghost event probably did take about 10. Incense and paramic. So, I'd like to get writing in there and leave it. If it touches a door, let's do UV again. And, this, and then, I guess I'll get freezing. But really, let's just take the camera in. And I'm not gonna bring in a smudge just yet. I think I'll be alright, but if it starts draining my sanity with more events, then I guess I'll get out of there. You know what though, that last game I really enjoyed a lot more. I just enjoyed the like middle area more than these little claustrophobic wings, I guess. It just feels like you have a lot more area to work with when you're in the middle section. But okay, we're coming back here. This is why I brought this, so I could just immediately look for a ghost orb. Am I do see my breath in here. I'm just assuming this is the room because it touched the door, but since I see my breath, we do know. No ghost orbs. Get this down. And have you touched a door? You did earlier. Okay, well, I'll leave this in case you do again. Oh, I wish for knowledge. I didn't look at that. A monkey paw tag is here. Oops, there's my global. Alright, ghost. Are you anywhere near here? Give us a sign. Is that floating? No, that's just a part of the tray. Wow, maybe you wandered off. Who is this ghost? Kenny, right. Kenny, give us a sign. Did I open this door? I feel like I did. Do I have anything on me? Where is this ghost? You didn't touch anything. You touched a door down here, Me? Oh, oh, no, that's the blood. Okay, come on, Kenny. You gave me a... I'm just ignoring all these sounds in here. You were interacting a minute ago, but you haven't touched anything in your room. I'm gonna try and set this up, like, at the door, even though it might be on the other side, the fingerprint. Okay, do I just go back and... Oh, did you knock this off here, or was that me? No, that's definitely not right. How did that happen? Let's drop that in the middle. I heard that. So let's get... Oh, there's EMF. EMF5. See... I don't know, that EMF5 needs to, like, have a unique sound, in my opinion. And maybe it does, but it's just, it should be like a rapid fire beep or something. But no fingerprints. But guess what, EMF5... Hmm. No fingerprints to go with it, though, this time. Unless it is Obake and it didn't leave it this time. The EMF5 was over here, though. Oh, did it throw the tag? It did, because look at the tag, it was over on the floor. Okay, no fingerprints. I really want to rule that out. I'm going so back and forth here. Let's get a photo. But yeah, look, the monkey paw tag is over here now. Alright, well, there was two door touches with no UV, so I don't think it's going to be UV, unless it's just the craziest Obake, but if we have UV now, it is going to be an Obake. Somehow, you don't care about the writing. Since we did get some stuff, let's go get more ev evidence, but let's check this. Okay. Oh, but mm, this is not the door that's going off, so let's actually check the right door. Okay, three doors touched, no UV. I'm gonna rule it out. I don't have my camera, so I'm not too worried about photos on these bigger maps where I don't have the bone. But I do want some. But let's go drop all this stuff and get more evidence in here. Well, sanity seems to be a bit better. 
but I don't really trust it. I do need to sit there with the paramic. I need to get hunted, so... I mean, I don't need to, but if we're gonna cleanse... Let's get hunted anyway, just to see if I can survive in that little corridor. I, I want to, like, actually progress here, and I've, we've done really good. I don't think I'm gonna die, but let's at least go back in with the smudge. I'm not worried about the objectives. At least I can sit here and look for ghost orbs, but I don't think it's going to be. So I want freezing UV, and then we'll go back in with the smudge. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this whole time I've been ignoring that. That's because I was talking about uh, <laughs> all that stuff. I can remember to hit the bell at Point Hope, but I can't ever remember that. It has been cold in here the whole time. Or, well, I say the whole time, but as soon as I walked in there, I saw my breath. So that's why I wanted to get the temperature in here. Now, as for hiding... The only thing you could do is like maybe smudge down here. Somehow you're going to have to smudge and then break line of sight before you get into a hiding spot. But I'm going to spend some more time in here. You did not write. And it's not freezing. I really felt like freezing was going to be an answer there. Okay, toss this down. Are you here? I bet you're roaming. Oh, no. Are you here? If you're oh, my God. Thank you. If you were out in the hallway, that wasn't going to work. So it's twins, wraith, or spirit. Okay, well, I can get salt in here. And also, uh, what, uh, yeah, see, writing, not freezing. Oh, maybe it is dots again. Because we haven't gotten writing, and it's not freezing, which it definitely would be freezing by now. Even with the breaker on. Oh, I thought it was writing there for a second. I think it's interacting with stuff on the other side of the wall. Okay, then let's go get a dots. And then the other objective stuff. And then I don't think I'm going to get hunted here. Oh my god, you can take this thing with you. <laughs> okay, let me just leave that there. I should like take that in the ghost room and see if I can go get the ghost to respond to me with it. Alright, sanity going down. It could have been twins, but not really if it's freezing. I want to rule out freezing and writing, and then it's just a wraith. So really, I should just go back in with salt. Should I go in with two things of salt and another smudge and then just hope for the best? Try and get my sanity drained. Well, we need it. <laughs> we need room for the uh, paramic. Okay. Guess I'm going to sit in there with the paramic. And then just wait for it to hunt me. Well, I'll, pr I'll probably be above range. But I have two smudges, so I should survive this hunt. But it's going to be a long one. Hmm. You know what, though? We do have this summoning circle. I could summon the ghost up here. Maybe we'll do that. Let's go get a paramic sound and see if this is a wraith. And I will still risk getting hunted down there. But maybe instead I'll take sanity and we'll just use the summoning circle and I'll try and survive the hunt that way. But how? I don't know. I'll have to find a hiding spot up there or around here somewhere. So if I get hunted, I actually could use the salt to help me. I'm going to put one like right here just to slow the ghost, but I really should just use these over here for the wraith. This is pretty obviously going to be a wraith. I'm going to keep one salt on me. Now, I want... I'm going to turn off that. Mm, okay, maybe I can't take the light. I think this is going to be obviously a wraith because it's not freezing. And it is not written. And... Okay, then it is freezing. And it's just not going down to freezing. Well... <laughs> what? Where's my camera? I'm going to get a photo of this. At least try to. Okay. Let's not rule out anything, then. We know it's not a wraith. It has not gone down to freezing. And it, how is it not written? It was just at the level of freezing, though. I think because the breaker's on. It's not sunrise. I think it's freezing. It's going down to zero point. And I know a normal ghost could do that. Yeah, it's, it's just the ghost is not staying in... There it is. The ghost is not staying in here long enough. It was twins. It's just not staying in here long enough to get it down to freezing. Okay. Don't let my guard down. I need to sit down there. With the paramic still, so I'm going to. Now this paramic should have longer range. I wonder if I can sit on the other side of this door. This is what I was trying to do last time I had the paramic on this map. But I had the tier 2 paramic. Okay, so that was... More than likely the door to the its room. There's the sound. So, okay, man, this paramic is so much better. But we still need to cleanse. 
So I think as like a good finale here for, you know, preparing for Halloween, this is the last thing we're doing before the update. Okay, let's just... <laughs> I can at least leave that guy. Let's let him hunt. That was hilariously scary. Let's see how far I can go upstairs, because none of this is going to be locked. I can go ahead and just leave that guy and let him wander around down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here. Hopefully hide. Yes, this is here. So let's let this guy finish. I'm going to take sanity, and then we're going to use the summoning circle, and then smudge and survive a hunt. But I'm going to have to find a hiding spot. Oh god, no. The game just lagged like crazy. Alright, we're back though. At least I can stand here and just wait for the light switch to be able to be turned on. There we go. So, I mean, the, uh, I heard that. <laughs> the predator was right next to me. Turn that back on. Or did... I don't even... I can't tell. If the light is red, it is on. Okay, I thought red light might have meant off. Okay, breaker back on. I have a photo. I have the smudge. Let's, maybe we'll bring that in there too. But I gotta go get, take sanity if I want to use the summoning circle. Okay, so the plan is to just hide in that room. But what I'm gonna do is drop a smudge. I don't know, should I drop a safety smudge? I don't know, I'm gonna drop it right here. At least that way I'm around the corner. But I want to smudge like out here. So get all these lights on. What do I have on me? So this is what I wanted to really do. I want to bring this in here and see if it'll mess with it during its hunt. So where should I put this though? Because I'm going to draw it in here. I'm going to put it like right here and... Well... Bruh, I don't know where I should put this. We're going to put it right here and we're going to see if it'll interact with it walking over it this way. And I, I'm interacting with it by throwing it down. Okay. I have full sanity. I can switch from my lighter immediately to my camera. I am going to take a photo. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the summoning circle, and then I'm gonna incense it by doing it the hardest way possible. All right, hello, dude. Oh, oh, maybe I should like take a step back, but I do. I do want to lure him out here. Touch my bell, please. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Yes, I knew he'd do it. Oh, he did it again. Okay. <laughs> well, he did turn around. I don't have my other smudge though. But this is a really good hiding spot. Oh, I deserve this death. I did draw him over here, so of course he's going to be looking in this area. But that's what I wanted on Asylum here, was to do something crazy like that. This is him gurgling. Yeah, you just go on the other way. <laughs> Maybe I should get back. I didn't know where he was going to wander, but since I smudged him out there, yeah, he's just going to check around the area where I smudged him. So that's why you can't really smudge right next to your hiding spot. I learned... <gasps> I learned that on Camp Woodwind. And also don't leave your hiding spot until you know there's not a ghost out there. Is he in this room? I, I, this is a cursed hunt with it being a medium map. Okay, <laughs> please let me escape. I don't even need to turn on that light. I just need to get out of here. I don't know. There's that other smudge. But at least I kind of made up for not touching the, you know, ringing the bell at the beginning. I got the ghost to do it a bunch. Okay, though. See, that's why I wanted to have fun on Sunny Meadows here. Just a nice Halloween map. We got all objectives. We got the ghost and didn't die somehow. So we even made money while also having fun. So, all right, let's go see how much money we made. All right, twins. I did maybe it like touched the door down the hallway once, but I didn't really notice it being twins. There's the tier three motion sensor, so there's another thing to buy, another fifteen hundred. So let's scroll through. The only thing I really look for, <laughs> examine, examination room. I thought it's like examinating, and then nine abilities. So wow, what is the twin ability specifically? When it does the double touch, I guess so. And I never heard the double touch. All right, before we end this, let me go ahead and go over to here. This $8,000 thing. They're $100 each. A security camera that was stripped apart and rebuilt from the ground up, granting it vision into the paranormal realm. Place this motion sensing camera on the floor near to any ghost activity you may find. When activated, it will turn and flash a bright light whenever a ghost enters or exits its detection range. And I was kind of using it a little bit during the, uh, uh, the weekly 
and I, it looked like it was tracking the ghost as it was in the circle, but it said it would just point the entrance and exit point, so, alright, that'll be another thing we get to experiment with. Alright, here at the end here, I do just want to say, you know, tomorrow is the update, so what I'm going to do is in the morning, I'm just going to record it, record my first impressions and everything, and I'm going to upload it as soon as I can, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve it on my own, I don't know how I'll have to... Because I don't know if it's going to be a puzzle thing, You're, it's going to be about the blood moons. So we're going to go into the blood moon, and I think you just need to survive and like figure out the ghost during the blood moon. So it's the different locations are going to have the blood moon. I don't know everything, but I'm, first it's going to be my first impressions and trying to figure it out. And then I might have to do another video actually completing it. But then 29th, it's going to be the one year anniversary console release stream. And it's going to be, I'm going to say around 8 Eastern. So it's going to be later in the day Eastern time. So it's going to be, uh, you know us time but then also on the 31st there's going to be a halloween stream about the same time that night for halloween and i will be dressed up for halloween so i hope to see you all there thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time